Aaron, uh, you've talked a lot about how every game is uh, critical at this point, and, and obviously this was a really big series. Um, but, but what are your biggest takeaways going to be from the way you guys bounced back and, and won this series? It's been a hard week. I mean, bottom line, as a team, it's been a hard week, and um, just really pleased with with the level of focus and energy that the guys have come in each and every day. We lose the first game of this series. It's easy to be deflated, and and nobody was. And you know, Garrett goes out and pitches a, a great game for us last night. You know, we do some things well, and a couple homers, and boom, we get one. And and then everyone kind of having a hand in it, starting with JMO, who pitched who pitched outstanding against obviously a very good lineup. But up and down the order, you saw everyone contributing um, all the way to the back end, where I thought you know, Chappie's last three hitters was really encouraging and uh, <clears throat> definitely a good win to get over a team we're chasing. Um, you know, heading into the off day, uh, we'll enjoy that. But but it's it's right back to right back to work and knowing we got a tough opponent and, and really important couple games with the Phillies. Now the scoring uh, got started early thanks to Glaber home ring and back to back games. Aaron, beyond the results of these two home runs, what are you seeing that might indicate some of the power is back or is coming back here with Glaber? I thought he was in better better positions on some on some swings over the weekend in Houston. Um, I thought he got into some really strong hitting positions where, you know, and, and smoked some balls. He didn't hit them out. You know, they were through the ground or line drives, but in a position to where, you know, Hopefully the power will come, and uh, you know in this series he flew out to the wall the first game, homered obviously last night, and then and then got another one tonight. So I just want him to really focus on on the at bat quality and getting into strong hitting positions. And if he does that, the results will follow for him. Now you guys got uh, you know plenty of long balls tonight, but you also you know had runners in motion. You, you had stolen bases. We saw the Odor bunt. How much of that, if any, is a conscious decision, intentional, given all the players you don't have in the lineup right now? Well, yeah, I mean, it's – and some of the players we do have in the lineup now that, that can play that game and are capable of that. So you got to be able to adapt, uh, you know, based on – personnel and things like that and and the guys did a really good job tonight of of you know doing some small things that added up big for us tom merriam you have the next question aaron what do you think has clicked in for tyon the past few starts um i i think it's partly a product of just just gaining the experience of being on the mound every fifth and sixth day um, you know, after the, a layoff the last couple of years. But I, I really go back to the Philly game where, you know, it doesn't get out of the first inning. And I think it caused him to, um, you know, add to his repertoire a little bit and get a little more versatile. And, and we're seeing him now incorporate a number of pitches. It, you know, early on, it was just a lot of four seam at the top and, and curveball off of that. We're seeing a mix in two seam now. We're seeing a mix in change up and slider to still go along with the four seam that he's featuring in the curveball. So he's just a lot less predictable and a lot more versatile on the mound. And, and he's pounding the strike zone. And I think he's just into the rhythm of the season. And, and I'm really excited about where he's at. Dan Martin, please unmute. Do you get uh, an explanation of what uh, Vasquez was talking about behind the plate? Yeah, there in the seven? they said a red light they saw somewhere in the batter's eye. And Gary said something about it. It happened to him when he was catching uh, as well. So I don't know other than I didn't even know where it came from, or but they said there was a red light that flashed up there. Um, and And I have not got the full explanation, though, so I have no idea. And um, uh, back to Chapman, uh, where where is he right now in terms of your your trust in him? You know, you, you were talking about trying to get him into the right spot, so that yeah. was tonight. He was where, he was where... if we had a save situation tonight, he was closing the game. Um, so that's where I'm at with it. Okay. And I thought after the first hitter, um, you know, that's the best version of Chappie we've seen in a while. Those last three hitters, it was on time in his delivery. It was 
driving his fastball through the zone. It was a wipeout split he got for the one strikeout. Um, so it was, it was good to see him really get into his delivery and, and really execute um, the way he's, he's obviously capable of. Go next to Brian Hoke. Aaron, I, I know you said it's been a hard week, but do you feel like this has provided a spark in some ways to get you know some of the rail riders up here and uh, basically have some fresh talent? Um, there's no doubt that they've come in and, and, and brought an energy and excitement and, uh, you know, obviously an enthusiasm of, of, for, for a handful of them, first time being in the big leagues for a lot of guys getting back to the big leagues. Um, so there's no doubt that that's brought a little bit of energy. Um, and, and, but more importantly, they've gone out and played well and contributed to, you know, you know, his, as tough as it's been, it's it's another winning series, and that's a three in a row now against some really good opponents. So uh, we just got to keep that going, um, and and you know keep finding ways ways to win ball games.